control engaging. I'm hands off, feet off. So right now we have an example of where we come up on a motorcycle who's going to brake hard Breaking and the vehicle responds by mm -hmm. issuing an alert and then also applied the brakes. So all the braking was done by the vehicle. A peek into the next generation of roads and cars that actually talk to each other can be found on technology-aided test corridors like this one in Virginia. Transit planners say it's only a matter of time and money until self-driving cars can travel on so-called smart roads lined with fiber optics, cameras, and connected signaling devices intended to help vehicles move as quickly as possible and more safely. Now, as we approach here, this is also another demonstration where we Breaking to avoid collision. are accounting for other users on the roadway. This is a construction worker who's wearing mm -hmm. a vest that's equipped with a dedicated short-range communications system so that he's also communicating with us and we're aware of his position. Um, that was an example of where he started to walk out. The vehicle detected a possible collision between us and his path and alerted us and actually brought us to a stop automatically. Transit planners say these smart roads will unlock bigger benefits from self-driving cars, including fewer accidents, faster trips, and fuel savings. So far, the technology is being built into just a few miles of highway in a handful of states, even as smart cars hit the roads. Uber is testing a small fleet in Pittsburgh, and the company's auto business delivered a load of Budweiser beer with a self-driving truck in October. California's Peloton Trucking wants to deploy autonomous truck convoys as early as next year. And just this month, Ohio announced the state would spend $15 million to install smart road technology along 35 miles of Route 33. While the Trump administration has also promised to increase infrastructure spending, high costs could still raise a roadblock to widespread development of all this new technology. Planners say it could take billions of federal dollars to wire the nation's more than 4 million miles of paved roads and 250,000 intersections. Another hurdle is ensuring different technologies can communicate well, especially during emergency situations. And now what we'll see is that police cruiser is in the lane directly behind us. And as he gets closer, the vehicle recognizes that we have an emergency vehicle that's approaching. Mm -hmm. So here, turn signal activator, we're going to automatically change lanes over to the right again to give them the space that he needs. While an array of automakers and tech companies are working independently on autonomous driving technology, there's still no common standard for how smart cars will receive information from smart roads or how they'll handle alerts once they get them.